Good morning. Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa, we are running two mini splits heating our house. We've been running them for about an hour right now. And we have this one over here set at 69 degrees. And on our On our thing it is 68 degrees in here so what I'm doing is I'm keeping this about two degrees warmer on the setting on this um, so I got it set at 70 degrees and it's 68 in here so that'll put out a pretty decent amount of air over here we have this one running and that one is set at 67 and we're actually at 65 in here right now so we have it around two degrees warmer than the room temperature and the reason why i'm doing that is it uses a lot less watts and amps while it's running this one right here is the first mini split i showed you and we only have four amps coming in our solar because it's only 8 30 in the 8 20 in the morning so our load is 22 watts right now and it's no amps coming out of our battery that must have shut down on me um so it cycles on cycles off this one over here we can go down to ten and a half volts on these batteries we're at 12.7 12.9 12.9 12 12.9 12 and 13 13.1 on these <coughs> right now we're using around 200 watts on that one and 220 on this one so about 400 actually about 440 watts right now is what we're using because these share the current and see if we can okay so we have six amps coming out of our battery on that one and ten amps coming out of this one so go back to our so we're at now we're up to it's like it's 600 watts um around 500 500 watts um so it's kind of going between five and six hundred watts right now and it's going between like 15 and 20 amps to run that second mini split like i said we can go down to 10 and a half volts on these uh so we have quite a ways to go and we really have nothing coming in on we have no amps coming in off of our solar at this time right now the sun's not hitting them so draining almost 20 amps right now out of our batteries there's 10 amps on that and be around 10 amps on the other one as well and around 230 to yeah right around 230 uh, watts and same thing over here about 230 so we're about 460 watts that we're draining on that see if this kicked back on yeah we're going we're at 360 watts, 384, 400. So it kicked back on and it's going up. So we're using around three amps out of our battery and we have five amps coming in. So we've got a little bit of coming in here. And on this battery, we are. At a 95% state of charge, and it says 
for about eight, almost nine amps that we're draining out of our battery as we're running that. So it'll take a long time to drain that battery. Now, if we go and look and see what temperature we're actually getting on this, we are, see if we can, uh, it's around 90 degrees in that one right now we got coming out. And over on this one, we're at 99 degrees coming out on this. So we've got some good heat coming out. So this one over here will heat that whole area going down that way. And that one over there heats up that living room over there. So right now we're running the downstairs, heating the downstairs with basically just um, the lithium iron phosphate batteries. So, once again, this one's putting out around 89 degrees, and we're at 800. Oh, so it just turned off. It's cycling on, cycling off, and that's kind of what you want it to do so it doesn't chew up your battery. So if you look, we have nothing coming out of our battery. So what I usually do is I'll start out two degrees warmer on the thermostat. The remote is the thermostat. I'll set it, if it's 65 degrees in the room, I'll set it at 67. When it gets to 67, I'll set it at 69. When it gets to 69, I'll set it at 71. So I do that, and that will extend the amount of battery that uh, length of time we can run the battery. Now, once again, we're still at 12.7 over here, 12.9, 12.9, and 13, 13.1. So we're at the same thing, and we're putting out almost 100 degrees out of that. And we're using 300 watts here, and around 3, 3 320 on the watts over here keeps going back and forth so and like i said if we look at our amps oops okay we're using 10 amps out of our battery right here and over here for our battery we're pulling out about 13 amp 12 13 amps so about 20 22 amps because it'll show separately on this inverter from this. So you have to add the two together. So go back. We are at, it's going up a little bit. We're at almost 400 watts on this one and almost 400. So at like 800 watts. And it's re really not. 12.7, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 13, 13.1. It's not doing anything to our batteries. It's not draining them down at all. So it's going really slow. So we're heating our downstairs. And we're not really using that much of our battery at all. So like I said, we've been running this for about an hour. This one still hasn't kicked back on. We're not using anything. We've been running it for an hour. And the sun's going to start charging our batteries here. And we're at a 95% state of charge. And we're actually charging at 4.4 amps right now. So as we keep heating our house, we're going to charge our battery back up. So the mini splits are really efficient. If I were to turn on my whole house heat pump for downstairs, which is a four ton, I would probably use around 3,000 watts, and I'm not even using 1,500 watts between the, the two different mini splits that are like that, the 12,000 BTUs. So, 
And those 12,000 BTU mini splits cost me, uh, one was 600, the other one was 700. So looks like, looks like we kicked on over here again. Yeah, we're kicked on and we're at 600 watts. So, and looks like we're drawing four amps out of our battery and six amps is coming in. So we're already at the point where we're almost evening out. We're not going to be drawing that much out of our battery. So it's discharging at seven, 7 7.6 amps right now. Not bad at all. So just want to let you know that we're heating our house completely off of battery power at this point. Just a little bit of solar coming in and now I'll be able to run these things all day long now that the sun's coming up. It's around 8.30. Um, by 10 o'clock in the morning, I'll have full sun. And by 10.30, I should have fully charged batteries on both of these battery banks for these lithium iron phosphates. So, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope I gave you enough information there. Please like, share subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell and i hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day we'll talk to you soon